you were about 600 bucks away from the target and then you started that was your main focus is just to hit that target and then you went into a losing streak quite a deep one at this point you were below the initial balance of the 12 and a half thousand so what happened here how did you manage to turn Stop. things around curtis i've looked at your balance and i've looked at the, the your stats and i'm so so impressed by how you recovered okay so what i want to do is i want to go straight into the moment where things changed for you because you were so close to the target and then you went into a losing streak right so yes sir let's just uh, have a quick look at that i mean guys this chart is so so impressive because you started <laughs> off quite quite good and you sort of maintained a range very close to the target but then something happened so talk us through the start from the beginning all the way up to this uh, losing streak what what was going on so i had a very like i had set rules in order like which i trade typically three to five trades per day and i only would risk at the time it was 12.5k for the 50k challenge overall i would only risk about 50 dollars per trade and i was very successful in order to overall maintain that and i was able to continue to grow the account until i hit about halfway through the challenge um, when I got really close to hitting the profit target, which was uh, which was around six hundred twenty-five dollars, I was very close to hitting that target, roughly around a hundred dollars yeah. off, and uh, I became very goal oriented. I, I wanted to focus more on hitting that six hundred twenty-five dollars instead of focusing on my yeah. goals, and that kind of led me into making that mistake where I was taking a lot of bad trades, over leveraging, and risking way beyond wow. um, my account. Wow! So, so take, uh, take take us back to what you just said day you were about 600 bucks away from the target and then you started that was your main focus is just to hit that target and then what yep. happened to your following your rules like what, what exactly happened then I usually have specific times that I do trade. I saw myself hidden. I continued to imagine myself hidden that goal, uh, hidden that 600, mm. hidden that profit target, and finally being funded by, uh, finally being funded 50K. And I mm. lost track of my goals. I kind of like pushed it over to the side and I was like, I'm so close. If I just, you know, take that trade, if I continue to take that trade, I'll be able to hit that profit target earlier mm. than when I was and I just completely forgot all of my goals kind of put it to the side I was just like I'll get 50k funded and finally be able to like hit my goals and uh, it definitely led into a lot of like very bad trades following wow so how, how did you get out of that deep hole because I can see that you were taking trades that were not part of your rules you went into a losing streak quite a deep one at this point you were below the initial balance of the 12 and a half thousand so what happened here how did you manage to turn so, things around? I kind of stopped trading for a little bit of time, a very short period of time where I was like, I really do not want to lose this account. And I was trying to figure out how I can recover the account by really focusing on my rules. And I kind of went back into my rules that I have on my notepad and I started scouting through. So I trade all peers, all major minor peers. So over 27 peers and um, your USD mm -hmm. kind of showed the opportunity at the time to take a trade, an opportunity, which I definitely took advantage of. That was the only trade that I held for about two days. I held that mm -hmm. trade for two days and it uh, recovered that account over to the balance that I was at and above that to kind of set me yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, because see that that one big trade will be really good if you can uh, break that down into us. So uh, like, how come you decided at this point to make that change to focus back into your process? Why, why didn't you do that here? Or up here i stayed up past my initial like bedtime where i was supposed to have like you know completely cut off trading and i just continued to fall into the it was a bad habit of you know so close to hitting my goal that i mm -hmm. continued to just fall like hey i can recover my account i can recover my account until i just decided to like hey you know like you're gonna lose this account if you continue so just take a break read your rules and then come back again to the charts um, and that opportunity will pre prevent itself so i definitely didn't risk a lot mm -hmm. but again i held this trade for over two days it's usually in this kind of day trading swing trading spectrum i hold trades for about a day a day and a half two days uh and this trade just happened okay. to be one of those big winners on your usd amazing so i actually made a video on this exact situation where traders they get to so close to the target 
target and then the desire all of this envisioning of all of this extra capital that they're going to be managing and then all they focus on is hitting that target and then all yeah. the rules all the process just gets thrown out the window so i made a video on this and i'm really really glad that you've taken that on board essentially just focusing back resetting yourself focusing back on the process and you've obviously demonstrated that right so at that point right around where my balance almost hit the you know drawdown limit i was going back through the discord channel which i'm plugged into and i was really watching i, I continue to watch your videos and the videos that you posted on why traders are not successful and that's one of the videos that kind of came up they get so goal oriented like the amount of capital that they will receive and being so close to the you know profit target that they kind of lose sight kind of yeah. drop their goals and that that was definitely one of the things that i fell into so that video was definitely helpful i I will say to me as a trader who is still learning and I want to say that this is why like CTI and their like entire discord channel the videos that they produce are very helpful to traders like me still kind of growing and learning yeah. I started trading about two years ago uh, with my initial capital and someone actually introduced me to funded accounts and I wanted to save up enough to get an account and CTI provided six months to a year mm. of uh, you know yep. time to hit the target and that was mm -hmm. incredible and I hopped on that uh, opportunity like almost immediately and that was one of the biggest things that could allow me to focus on my goals without hitting you know that yeah. four week that month of hitting that 10 percent target uh you guys have such a low target to hit and such an immense amount of time to hit that target that allows traders to yeah. focus on their goals and allow it to hit that time so for sure i could see why traders definitely fall into that trap of you know wanting to hit the target way earlier than time and cti provides such a long period of time hit mm -hmm. that target that you really yeah. don't need to fall into that trap exactly i mean these rules are for that reason these rules are for you that we don't because we're traders ourselves and so we design these rules in order to help you become a better trader for you yep. to focus on preserving the capital number one is preserve the capital and yes. second of all to follow the rules are, are forcing you to actually follow your rules like follow the process and not focusing on the PL. Like the rules are there to you focus on your risk because this is the key once you understand this once you have i mean getting a profitable strategy you can go on youtube you can get a mentor there are thousands of profitable strategies but if you are not disciplined and you don't follow good risk management you're just not going to make it yeah. and unfortunately that's the majority of traders but here at cti we want to do things differently so i'm really glad that our rules have actually improved your trading so absolutely during so du during your your journey like what was your biggest struggle developing yourself as a trader the biggest struggle i will say and i feel like a lot of traders would resonate or relate to this struggle is psychology psychology is the biggest thing really understanding that you have rules right even if you do have a strategy that is profitable uh following those rules and not being focused on the pnl as you said before and in a lot of the videos that you uh do have on the youtube channel and in the discord following your rules and being in touch with your psychology make sure you keep that psychology in check would definitely be one of the biggest things that i struggled with as a trader i still struggle with and that's why i want to do, mm -hmm. i really want to do work closely with cti because they kind of cut all that off giving you the amount of time that you will to focus on your trade and yeah. rules and i do think that that has helped me a lot but psychology Maybe. psychology for sure so what do you do and how have you overcome your psychological struggles as a trader information knowledge is power knowledge is power the more you know the better equipped you are as an individual and further on as a trader in order to take trades that even if they are losing trades you will always have losers accepting that accepting that you will have losers you will go through a losing yeah. streak it's always important that you have rules in place for that that you take some time off right. reanalyze your trade and strategy take some time off from yeah. the charts i know it's hard it's hard whenever you're going through that you know revenge trading is a big one going back into the the market to over leverage and risk more more capital to regain what you lost it's important yeah. to take a step back it was at that time where i went back into the discord channel i found the video that you created an individual who failed the challenge you know so close to hitting their pnl and uh yeah. it, it kind of seemed like the rules kind of just fell off the table revenge trading over leveraging trying to hit that proper target and it ended up failing yeah. for them yeah 
yeah amazing so at that moment when you you watch that video and you realize hold on a minute that's me i can't let this happen i need to focus yeah. on, on the process yeah. and then you took this trade so i'm gonna just share with everyone this trade because it's it's amazing right so you started off in october yes sir and so you had a quite a good start well controlled wins and losses all under your yes, was it your 40 dollars mark so that's that was like what was it 50 dollars you were risking about 50 dollars was yeah, uh typically the max half, i would allow myself percent, about half a percent risk you were doing a nice winning trade there and then this is when you went into that losing streak you can see quite a lot a lot of losses here so this was coming up to the end of of october 26 and then this happened this trade on the 26 where you took a short with one lot and you said you held it for about two days so i can see you got charged a swap fee for that so mm -hmm. it will be amazing if you can break down this trade for us because this is such a big trade for you this was the turning point right this was the turning point for me yes talk us through your strategy if you can show us a chart that would be absolutely amazing if you can talk us through absolutely. this trade the dxy um, which is the dollar index is opposite in correlation to the euro usd at the time mm -hmm. euro usd was in a slight uptrend and if i can replay this back to 26 where i took this trade right around then uh euro usd i trade a break and retest but also divergence so if price is overbought or oversold i have this rsi that will show me that price is overbought and if it continues to push higher but the rsi is lower than the uh, previous high and i can display that right now right here and the rsi is lower that lets me know yes, that yes. price has a very high probability of retracing back down it has to be at a significant level a level that has been retested before and has a high probability of reversing at that point so that was that level and i also match it again with the dxy to show me a reversal so i can go back on this as well to 26 and i can see that the dxy also represented a reversal where it was going down and it also had that divergence as well amazing right fantastic what what the confluences there are spot on wow so price was oversold on the dxy which is directly opposite in correlation to the euro usd and you can see the price pushed up came back down on the rsi it was oversold and then it continued to push down while on the dxy it pushed up all right so going back to the 26 on the year usd price diverged at a significant level where the rsi was overbought and it pushed higher while the rsi was showing a lower level and then i also had an engulfing on the one hour time frame analyzing this chart completely i saw that price had a potential of coming back down to this 0 0.99500 level and so i plotted out my trade after this engulfing candle which is this red candle that pushed down my short position here i had my stop roughly around 20 pips with an entry right above here. That, that structure right around here okay, i see how, how many pips above sure. do you put your stop above the structure uh, so typically it would be 20 to 45 pips above structure. If it is overbought or oversold, depending on the time frame, will determine my mm -hmm. uh, stop loss. And I was going okay. for right around here, which was also a structural level right here of support. And if we continue nice. to play price throughout this process, just continue to push down. So what were you what were you feeling when you saw this? trade every candle was representing one hour well, what was going through your mind when you were managing this trade so at this time i actually i wasn't monitoring price at all because i knew that at this point one or two things could happen it continue to push up or it could continue to go down into uh, my take profit and i didn't want to get caught into taking profit too early which was something that i did before and i really wanted to let this trade play out in order to hit my profit target so you stuck to the plan you remained disciplined and the target was hit what did you do once the target was hit oh uh, once the target was hit i knew that i could continue to follow my plan after i closed mm -hmm. this trade i stopped trading for the rest of the week 
and then I continue to get into my plan and follow until I hit the minimum target and the, the minimum trading days and the profit target. Amazing. So, so following in this trade, the mistake oh, that I made was taking trades too early and having my stop loss too tight and not waiting for the correct entry into this, which was waiting for that, waiting for my full confirmation, uh, which was the mm -hmm. engulfing candle at a significant level with the divergence, with the complete yes. divergence. Fantastic. So again, taking time off from the charts, following my rules and waiting for all confluences to match up in order to pick the trade, which in this example with yeah. the 20 percent loss, I was able to wait for my engulfing candle on the one hour at the significant level with the, the divergence and mm -hmm. with my profit target. I was able to Amazing. hold the trade until it hit and kind of recovered the account. You literally just described the process every single trader needs to make when taking every trade. Literally, it's a matter of waiting for the criteria to be met and ensuring that once the criteria is met, that you are not hesitating and you take action. Then once the trade is set, you let the trade play out. You let the market do its thing because now you've done your job, right? And then you right. cannot control the outcome. You let the market decide whether it's going to hit your stop or it's going to hit your take profit. This demonstrates absolutely a lot of discipline. And this is how you're going to succeed. So we can actually see that trade here on your statement. And when you compare that to your largest loss, you know, this, this is probably a bit more of a higher leverage trade it you is. Know, to your usual. So this, this probably was when you were a little bit going for a little bit of tilt, a bit of self-sabotage, but now we know that you, you made amends. You were so close to hitting the drawdown limit of that we set for you, but you know, you managed to pull through because you focus back on the process, not the outcome. So this is a prime right. example, everyone, and even for yourself to always, always focus on the process because the, the, the outcome, right. it doesn't matter. It's not, it's not under our control. What we can control is, is executing our process consistently. So you've demonstrated that. So well done to you, Curtis. And what advice would you give traders out there who are just like you? They want to make it as a funded trader, but they're struggling right now. I would say as something that I have done and I'm still going through, as you can see through the example that was shown even throughout this video is definitely hate, like take some time off, practice paper trading a certain amount of time, then invest a small amount of capital to grow that over a certain amount of time before you actually get into funded trading. CTI provides an amazing opportunity in which like the different funding programs that they do allow you to have like over six months to a year of uh, trading mm. before you actually hit your profit target. Really focus on your rules. So that's that's what CTI wants you to do. And throughout the videos in their Discord, I do want to say being plugged into a community that focuses on, you know, psychology, focusing on psychology, focusing on maintaining like overall, keeping your capital instead of risking it all would definitely be important. So overall building your psychology, working on having a small amount of balance which gti does allow you even when you do i purchased the 50k account they started me off with the 12.5k you know can you hit the profit target on that before we give you the 50k i do want to say mm -hmm. that their rules and the things that they provide is to develop traders following the videos the tutorials that they have on the youtube channel in their discord would definitely be like more information again knowledge is power i do mm -hmm. want to say focusing on psychology really focusing on your rules because you know that it is profitable if you you just focus yeah. on that you will be a profitable trader the information that cti does provide is very helpful again i watched that one video and that kind of set me up for success it really did set me up for success i Maybe. feel like that video that i looked up at that time was what i needed in order to uh pass Good. the challenge I, I literally made that video for you curtis for traders like you because i've seen it so many times where traders they, they they almost reaching the target and it's happened to me before right <laughs> so i i made that right. video knowing that i've i've made that mistake a few times and it sucks right big time because you spend months if not you know a long time and many <laughs> trades a lot of focus and then give it all back at the end so i made that video because I, I had to do something about it there was too many traders that were just getting lost in the in the outcome and so i'm very 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 honored that you watched that video you took action and now look now you are a portfolio manager 
Twitter officially a portfolio manager was TI and now you've got $50,000 live account now this is your opportunity this is your opportunity to really turn this around and and turn this into a serious business because you have we're, we're opening the doors for you Curtis so now you've proven yourself but you've got to be consistent okay you've we're, we're, we're holding our hand to you and we're gonna and now we're in a partnership all right we're in a partnership yes, so make sure you stay disciplined stay focused and look we're still going to be putting out valuable content for for you and all the other traders in cti on discord on youtube because that's 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 really what we're about congratulations thank you for thank you. Uh, showing us your strategy sharing your journey sharing all the wisdom that you've done today very very grateful for this opportunity to have met you thank you and if i can just say one more thing again i'm a learning trader you know very young and the biggest thing that i have uh learned from is really relating to traders who've gone through the same thing uh like you have said before like you've been through the, the exact same thing that's why you put out that video because you've been in the same spot as many of the traders who you see are so close they have in the profit target and they lose sight of their following their goals and whatnot so i'm going to continue working very very close with, uh, you know, the CTI, the CTI crew in the Discord and continue to watch those videos in order to maintain my psychology. That's one of the biggest things that I do want to improve and continue to work on very close with the uh, CTI mm -hmm. um, and stay plugged in with the community as a portfolio manager. I'll make more more videos on psychology then. <laughs> Listen, Thank Curtis, yeah, that, thanks that's, very much. You know that. <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much. Appreciate <laughs> it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care.